Hello, I'm Mike Panaki, owner of Network Protocol Specialist LLC. In this video, I'll go through how the Etherscope NXG can be used to measure network throughput using iPerf and the NetAlly performance test. The topics covered in this video will include the difference between an iPerf test and a NetAlly performance test, how to configure and run an iPerf test, the types of endpoints supported by the NetAlly performance test, starting a performance peer, how to configure and run a NetAlly performance test, and lastly, uploading the test results to Link Live. The Etherscope NXG supports two types of throughput testing. These are iPerf and the NetAlly performance test. Before we start pushing packets through the network, let's take a look at the difference between these two tests. iPerf supports TCP and UDP data streams. When configuring the tests, thresholds are set to establish pass-fail criteria. The iPerf application on the Etherscope NXG communicates with an iPerf server on another device. That device may be a NetAlly test accessory or a device running iPerf in server mode. It is important to note that since iPerf is an application, the maximum throughput is limited by the device that's running the application. As such, you may not be able to get the full line rate utilization when running iPerf. The NetAlly performance test takes advantage of the hardware in the Etherscope NXG. This means it is able to transmit and receive packets at full line rate, all the way up to 10 gigabits per second. The performance test transmits UDP packets from the Etherscope NXG to an endpoint and measures key values, including packet loss, latency, and jitter. As part of the configuration, thresholds may be set for each of these, thereby providing pass-fail results. One of the great advantages of these thresholds is that a junior technician can run the tests without the need to know the parameters. The technician can quickly determine whether the link passes the preset values or not. In both cases, the results of the test may be uploaded to Link Live for documentation purposes. Let's start out by configuring and running an iPerf test. I start by tapping on the iPerf icon on the home screen of the Etherscope NXG. Next, I'll enter an endpoint device. As I mentioned before, this can be any device running an iPerf server or NetAlly test accessory. Before I leave this screen, I'll scroll down and set my upstream and downstream thresholds. For TCP, the test will pass if the upstream and downstream results exceed these values. For UDP, this will be the data rate used for the test. After setting the thresholds, I'll tap to begin the test. As the test is running, the throughput is graphed out over time. Below each graph, the threshold is shown. If the test exceeds the threshold, a status of success is displayed. Tapping on the three dots in the upper right corner allows me to upload the test results to Link Live. Now let's look at the NetAlly performance test. Before we start configuring the test, let's talk about the performance test endpoints. The endpoints include the NetAlly Link Runner G2, another Etherscope NXG, and the NetAlly OneTouch AT10 gig. The benefit of using these hardware endpoints is that they support full line rate testing. In this video, I'll use another Etherscope NXG as an endpoint. Both of these Etherscopes are connected at 10 gigabits per second. Here's how we put the far end Etherscope in peer mode. Now, I'll configure a new service. First, I tap on the settings icon in the upper right corner. I can set the duration for the test. In this case, I'll leave it at one minute. Then I tap on services. Tapping the action button adds a new service. For this test, I want to make sure I get the full 10 gigabits per second out of the network. I'll call it 10G test. Next, I'll set the endpoint device to the IP address of the other Etherscope NXG. The endpoint type will be peer. We'll set the frame size to 1024 bytes and the bandwidth to 10 gigabits per second up and down.
I expect zero packet loss on this network, so I'll set my thresholds to 0% loss up and down. Of course, these values depend on your network and the application's tolerance for packet loss, jitter, and latency. In this case, I'm going to set up one service. The Etherscope NXG supports up to four concurrent services between a peer and one concurrent service when testing to a reflector. The Etherscope NXG and the OneTouch AT10G are both peers, while the Link Runner G2 is a reflector. Now that the test is completed, I can see that I was able to send 10 gigabits per second in both directions between the Etherscope NXG and the peer. I've validated that my network is working exactly as I engineered it. I can document this by tapping on the three dots in the upper right corner and uploading the test results to Link Live. Whether you need to run a TCP test using iPerf or a full line rate test up to 10 gigabits per second with the NetAlly performance test, the Etherscope NXG is the tool for the job. Please check out our other videos on how to get the most out of your NetAlly Etherscope NXG.